Hello everybody and welcome to The Clap and today we are bringing you a special interview. I am lucky enough to be sitting right across from the one and only Scott Spillman. Scott Spillman, how you doing? Good, good. How you doing? And uh, if you don't know, Scott Spillman does a lot of really incredible artwork specifically for The Walking Dead. Uh, now how long have you been an artist and what inspired you to pursue that? Uh, I've been an artist my whole life. So I had drawings my grandmother actually had saved from when I was four years old. You can actually see what they they were, mm -hmm. and I just knew from then I always wanted to be an artist. Didn't know how I was going to make money at it, but I knew that's what I was going to do for the rest of my life. Right, and and so that's a very so basically your whole life you've been an artist. Yeah. And and was there any defining point where you said you know uh, I'm going to drop every other idea and just pursue that, or was it just that's what it was your whole life? Uh, no, I had, I had all different kinds of jobs I wound up having, you know, through my life, but uh, probably the last 20 years of it, or 25 years, have been actually doing art as my living right. for somebody else. Okay. So just the last uh, two years, I've been strictly just doing this on my own, not working for anybody else, and just, you know, pursuing my own thing. Now, I've noticed you have a really different color scheme. It really stands out. Uh, what inspired you for that? that Color uh, I was actually doing a, a portrait series and I wanted to have each of the portraits fit who it was supposed to be. Like I did Marilyn Monroe with black and white and a pop of color, I did James Dean with some sepia tones, and then I did Jim Morrison with the colors that you see in all my work now. And if something just clicked when that happened, it was almost like an epiphany. I knew this was my style. So ever since then, every single thing I've done from Steelers series, I did a Sea Life series, uh, obviously the Walking Dead series I'm working on now, everything has that that look and style to it now. Right, I think it's really cool and it definitely screams, this is nobody's but Scott Spillman's. Yeah, thank and you. no one has that color scheme but you, and that's one of the impressive things about your artwork. Thank and you, I appreciate that. Cool. Um, now, when did you decide to start doing Walking Dead artwork? Uh, it was about two years ago, two, two and a half years ago. Uh, I was working on the Sea Life series that I was talking about and doing very well. And uh, I just got bored, really bored. So I wanted to do something different and uh, I started working on some of this, uh, The Walking Dead. I actually, there was a convention that was coming up and Janai Guerrero was going to be there. So I thought how cool would it be to do a painting of her, have her sign the original, give her one. And I brought a, a few prints with me. Uh, I think about 20 prints I brought. I was thinking, well, maybe while I'm in line, I might be able to sell a couple of these prints because people are going to see me carrying these, these full-size paintings. And uh, sure enough, that's what happened. I sold all 20 prints in about 30 minutes while I stood in line. So that was it. I'm like thinking, okay, there's something here. Right. So that was it. That was the actual start of, of all of it. Right. Now, I understand that your your artwork is available on different kinds of merchandise? Uh, yes, yes. I, uh, I actually make all the merchandise myself also. So we have everything from t-shirts and jewelry and wallets and purses and mouse pads and, and everything. I wound up, uh, that came about because I was just doing prints. And I had a, you know, a good, you know, uh, reception to that. But then you see sales start to go down because either people bought the price already or they don't have, it's not the style of art you have hanging in your home. But everybody seemed to love it. So that's when I thought, well, what if I came, have my artwork and put it on items that people use every day? And that's where that came about. Now, aside from conventions, is there anywhere where we can find your artwork? Uh, yes, online. I have a website, scottspillman.com, uh, that has a lot of my other artwork, like the Sea Life and the Steelers and the Walking Dead, and uh, bleedingart.com, which actually has all my merchandise that mm -hmm. you can go straight there and, and purchase everything right from there. Okay. Now, what, what gave you the idea to start doing conventions? Uh, I think part of that was because I saw that's where the actors were. Um, dealing with the, the sea life and other art I was working on before was definitely uh, more of a fine art scene. So I was had art in all the galleries. I was doing all the fine art shows. That was that was the venue for that. Right. But for The Walking Dead, really, you're not going to be in too many galleries. But where everybody else is at, is at, is at the conventions. The actors at the conventions. All the fans are at the conventions. 
and so that's why I started doing those. Makes sense. So you've pretty much been doing the conventions when you started doing the Walking Dead artwork? Yes. Yes. Okay. And uh, out of all of the pieces of art that you've done, do you have a personal favorite? Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few of them. Um, the Michonne one is, you know, that's my favorite just art-wise, and it was pretty much the first one I did that started all of this. Yeah. Uh, the one that I just did recently was uh, Abraham Michael Cutlass, mm -hmm. and uh, that I liked. The art, I definitely loved how it came out, but the backstory to that is what I love. I was, too. yeah, I heard uh, through the grapevine that he actually asked you to do that portrait for him. Uh, what it was is he came to my booth one morning before the con actually opened mm -hmm. to the public, and uh, I happened to just look over, and there is Michael Cutlass standing there, in which full in full Abraham. I mean, with the red mustache, red hair, beanie, right. and what was great, he actually was in character. The whole time he talked to me, he was talking to me as Abraham. So we had an attitude, he was, you know, he walked up and all he did, he looked at my all my artwork and he's like, where am I? <laughs> and uh, I'm like, uh, I haven't painted you yet. So we had this, this whole conversation about it and um, then I told him, I said, well, you're on the list. And he's like, yeah, yeah just totally turned around, blew me off, and walked away. So I was like, okay, this is fantastic. I have to uh, I have to paint him next. <laughs> so that was it. And then from there, I, I, I did the painting, and then um, I got to meet him. And uh, that was great, too, because when I walked up, I was like, hey, I don't know if you remember me. And he goes, of course, I saw on Twitter that you just finished the painting, you know? So uh, that was fantastic. And then I give each actor a canvas uh, piece of the art, their artwork and then I give them the full set in these five by seven cards. So when I handed him those, um, he starts to look at me and he goes, yeah, I've already seen all these online, they're great. And I'm like, well, okay, that's cool. Yeah. You know? So I didn't know that there was, you know, that everybody was starting to see my artwork out right. there like that. That must have hit you like a ton of breaks. Yeah, it was, it was really a, a cool. Surreal. Movie. Yeah, I'm surreal, sure. humbling, yes. Now, do you yourself have any favorite artists? Um. I think it's people I wind up seeing at these conventions or seeing online, I'll, I'll see somebody's artwork and think, wow, that's really great, or great compositions, or great styles. So in, instead of being a really a big name mm -hmm. artist, I think it's more actually people that are just also going to the cons, but some people have some great styles and a lot of talent. Yeah. And those are the ones that little bits and pieces inspire me to either get better or to, you know, do something a little different. Right. Nice. That's cool. So what can we expect to see from you in the future? Uh, actually, my next piece I'm working on is uh, be Jesus. Um, that's uh, actually cool. Tom Payne actually just followed me on Twitter last night, and we had a conversation uh, about his piece. So that's kind of cool, because that's the first time I've had a, an actual conversation about the artwork with an actor before I started it. Right. Where Michael just kind of came up and was, you know, as Abraham was kind of making some comments, where this, I'm actually talking to Tom Payne about right. the piece, and the piece I'll be working from, he's going to send me some photos actually to work from. So I'm kind of excited to to work on that one, you know. I was excited to work on the character, but now I'm even more so because I'm actually working with the actor on what the piece will look like and, and mm -hmm. what he wanted me to work from. Nice. Well, there you have it. Those are all the questions that I had for Scott Spillman. Uh, <laughs> you, you uh, what was the name of your website again? Scott Spillman uh, Art? Scott, ScottSpillman.com and BleedingArt.com. There it is. BleedingArt.com. If you want to get any of his uh, work, ScottSpillman.com, BleedingArt.com. You can go order it there, or you can catch him at one of his many conventions that he's going to be at. My sound guy didn't turn off his uh, phone, so that's a penalty. Boom, we'll catch you later on the class.